This movie was just so bad. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Creepy Pasta Tyler here. Actually, just Tyler Preston 20. After my long hiatus of protesting Captain Marvel and obviously just doing weird stuff, support me through Patreon and of course, Minds.com and Facebook.com. Also, I forgot to mention my Twitter account because why not? Twitter is the best place in the entire world. So, last night, I went to see this movie called Us. No, I'm not talking about us as in my woman and, of course, me, and we're just doing it together, the both of us. I'm talking about that movie from freaking, what was that guy's name? Jordan. I don't know. I don't really care about the guy's name. Jordan Peeler? Whatever! He does not matter to me because, obviously, I don't remember his name, so fuck it! You're racist. Yeah, I'm racist because I don't remember the guy's name. Us is about the typical suburban middle class black family. We have the padre, the madre, the hermano, e hermana. Wow, why did I just say all these names in Spanish? It's like brother, sister, mom, dad. It's stupido. Yeah, it's muy stupido. One day, in a very creepy night, when the mom was a little girl, she went into this place called the House of Mirrors. And then, when she looked into the mirror, she saw a reflection, and it turns out that the reflection was actually her, basically a doppelganger. When that little girl got older, got married, have two kids, blah, 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 the typical adult stuff, the family decided to have a vacation at a house, at a place, and obviously things go to hell with the doppelgangers. Before I talk about the movie itself, I want to first talk about my experience within this theater. So basically, there were at least four auditoriums showing this whole entire movie, and obviously, there was a bunch of people at the premiere, and obviously my auditorium, the screening room, was really packed and really full with many different people from different backgrounds. Obviously, many people were excited to see it. I, myself, was really excited to see that movie, and it turns out that the trailer was way better than the actual movie. It's kind of sad if the trailer was freaking better and scarier than the actual movie. First and foremost, there was a major freaking plot hole in the entire movie. Obviously, when the girl was little, she saw the doppelganger, and basically, that scared her. And of course, when she got older, she saw the same doppelganger. Well, guess what? In the movie, Basically, it was not only that same woman as a doppelganger, but also the entire family as doppelgangers. But towards the end of the movie, basically the plot twist was that the wife was not the real wife, but the doppelganger, and that the woman that attacked the doppelganger was actually the real wife. So my main question is basically this. Just how in the hell did the entire family get doppelgangers if that one woman went to that mirror place to see the doppelganger? Number two, the doppelganger. Oh my god, was that a freaking ghost? I guess it was a ghost. But number two, the double. Quiet ghost. <laughs> I say quiet. This is not scary. But number two, basically, basically, the, the doppelgangers are not funny. They're not, actually, what were they not, was, <laughs> they actually were funny, but like, they were not intimidating at all. Not in the slightest. First of all, that woman was just like so super funny to me. Like granted, there are moments in the movie that are supposed to be funny, but oh my god, the doppelgangers are just so freaking funny unintentionally. For example, when the woman doppelganger starts to talk, she basically sounds like this. 
Oh, I am the doppelganger. I'm gonna go after you and kill your family. Like, the voice for that woman as the doppelganger was just so hilarious and just so bad. Like, it basically kind of ruined the entire move for me. Then we have the dad character. Now, the dad character is like your typical stupid husband character. Oh, I am just so stupid. I don't know what to do. I need a strong woman to actually tell me what to do. And by the way, the doppelganger dad was even stupider. Like, basically, for his freaking growls, when he tries to attack the dad, the real dad, he basically goes like, Oh! Oh! <laughs> it's, it's like, how is this scary? This is not scary in the slightest. There were a few positive aspects that I did like about the movie. For example, the music is fantastic. It was absolutely awesome. And of course, there was, of course, some of the acting from the woman, the lead woman. She was really good. As well as, I guess, maybe the cinematography. That was also really good. But apart from that, the movie is like your typical slasher. It's just not really scary. Like, the whole slasher genre is not scary to me. Because you have freaking Boogeyman trying to kill a family. It's like, I'm going to murder you. I'm going to kill you. And they show all the gory details. It's not really scary. It's like more funny to me than scary. I'll give the movie Us a 2 out of 5. I was really disappointed about this movie because Get Out was just so much better in terms of direction and style. This one is not even trying so hard to be scary. It's more funny. There was like major plot holes. Just this whole entire film was a complete dumpster fire. What do you guys think about this movie? Tell me down below. And until next time, it's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't trade him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.